Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been happy, amazing, and positive. Before I start, I want you guys to go follow my Instagram, which will be right here. And also, do not forget to subscribe. It helps me out so, so, so much. Every time I see a new subscriber, you should see the smile on my face. I just get so excited and do not forget to like this video as well. It is so hot right now. It's been so hot for the past few days. I literally have not been able to sleep. I'm so sleepy right now. So if you notice me not looking my usual self, I'm so sorry. I literally haven't slept properly in days. So today I'm going to bring you guys a video on the meaning of my tattoos. Now if you've seen my 50 facts video about me, you'll know that I have three tattoos. You guys don't know what they look like, but you've probably seen this one, but the other two are hidden, so you can't see it unless I show it. Actually, maybe you can... I think you can see like a little outline. I'll take some photos and put it up here for you guys to see properly. So let's get into it. So my first tattoo, I'll go with the obvious, which is this one on my wrist. So I am an Aries. I was born on March 25th. When I was about, I think I was 18 or 19, I decided to get a tattoo on my wrist of my sign to be honest like I like it but I wish it was more like you know nice sort of artwork I'm kind of getting over the just the one symbol I'm getting a little bored of it so what this represents is obviously my star sign but the animal for my star sign is actually a ram which is my last name. So that is one main reason why I got this tattoo on my wrist uh, because, you know, one day I may get married and my last name will change. So at least I've sort of got this here to remind me, and not to remind me, like I'm not going to remember my maiden name, but it's just always going to be with me. I actually got this tattoo when I was with my ex boyfriend so you know sometimes it does remind me of that relationship so you know eventually I think I'm going to change it into some like beautiful artwork that someone can probably design for me uh, because I'm getting like I said just really bored of it and I just don't want something there that reminds me of my ex you know that relationship was not a very good relationship so I want to look at my tattoo and really think like about good things not so much the negative uh, but sometimes I do forget that it's there because it is on my wrist so it's only when like I catch myself in the mirror or something or I'm, if I'm like really looking down at my hands I'll notice it but most of the time I do sort of tend to forget that it's there but I'm kind of glad that I got you know just this now I can change it into something beautiful otherwise if I already had it as something beautiful I would sort of have no choice but to leave it there and it always reminds me of that time in my life. So the second tattoo that I got is on my back just behind my shoulder which says the greatest prayer is patience. I actually saw this quote on Tumblr one day on Janae Aiko's page and as soon as I saw that I was like whoa yes back then I had no patience and I just wanted everything done quick you know but I sort of realized that Patience is the best way. If you're going to be impatient about things, you give up easily and you don't keep trying. If you have patience, you will keep going and you know deep down that if you keep doing what you love, the results will pay off. It's just like with anything, whether you're trying to lose weight, you're not going to drop 10 kilos in the first week. You'd be silly to think that. An impatient person would 
expect that and if they don't see results they just give up and they think that they're not seeing results so what's the point you know good things take time things take time that's what I really needed to remind myself back then and I feel like now I've got a lot more patience with the big stuff um, little things I'm still working on, you know, um, but the big things, the things that really, really matter, I feel like I do have a lot more patience and a lot more understanding that, yes, you know, I'm not going to get what I want like that. You've got to work for it and you've got to wait. You've got to really make sure you don't give up. Otherwise, what's the point? You know, impatience is actually a very, very toxic sort of emotion or I don't know if you would call it an emotion. I don't know what you would call it, but it is actually really, really toxic, um, especially because it causes unnecessary frustration. And that's the type of person I used to be. I was actually a very angry and very frustrated person. I had very, very low tolerance with things. And now I just feel like I'm very different to that in a sense that I don't get as angry as I used to. I really feel like this quote has really changed my life and really made an amazing impact. My third tattoo is on the side of my tummy, on my ribs, I guess you would say. This one I feel like hurt the most because it was like hitting onto the bone, but it was also ticklish at the same time. I really don't know how to explain it. It was definitely an experience because I'm very ticklish. So pain and the feeling of being tickled is like the worst two feelings combined. This tattoo here says, love yourself. And no, it was not about the Justin Bieber song. I actually got this before the Justin Bieber song came out. I was in a really, really bad relationship. The same guy as I got this tattoo with. For about three years after that, I was struggling to love myself. I was struggling to find a sense of self-worth. Um, I just didn't really know who I was anymore because I was pretty much living my life based on him and what he liked and I had to really tiptoe myself around him and I feel like I was the giver and he was the receiver. I didn't really get much in return and through that I felt like that's just how I should be treated. When I got out of that relationship I was sort of lost because all I knew after school was him. So I, you know, I even asked my friends, like, what, what's changed in me since I used to date my ex? And they said, like, you know, you're um, not as happy as you used to be. You're not as outgoing. You don't talk as much. You're not as passionate about things. And I wrote all of this down. My friends told me like what I was back before the relationship and what I was just as I was with him. And I was so shocked at what had happened to me, you know. So yeah, for three, th not, maybe, not three, maybe two and a half years, I was searching for myself. I was doing, I was on this journey of trying to figure myself out and figure out how I deserve to be treated and what I what I should value within myself and I got this tattoo to remind myself to always love myself and no matter what to never lower your worth for yourself and this tattoo definitely has changed my life because I now am such a different person I'm sort of back to the person that I used to be it's been a journey and it's taken me a long time to figure out who I am and what I stand for and what I believe in. And I believe that I'm always going to be on this path. I feel like everyone would be on a path to constantly loving themselves. I know what it feels like to be in a really, really dark place with yourself and uh, you just don't know what to do anymore. So I'm really grateful that I got this tattoo because every time I look at myself in the mirror, I see it. And 
it reminds me, it's a constant reminder every single day to love myself and to always put myself first. Um, I don't think that's a selfish thing. I think that's a really, really healthy thing to do for yourself, especially because you are your own best friend and you are the person that you spend the most time with. So if you don't love yourself, you're going to be very, very miserable. It's like constantly hanging out with someone that you just don't get along with. All my tattoos are quite meaningful and eventually I probably will get more and, you know, make this a little nicer. I'm happy that I got them, you know. All my tattoos stem from a lesson that I've learned or a lesson that I'm learning. So I'm really grateful for that. Yes, tattoos do hurt depending on where it is. This one didn't hurt as much. I think it was more the fear of a needle constantly going into you. That was the scariest part, but it didn't actually really hurt. The Annoying part of it is after when your tattoo starts healing and it becomes really itchy. I don't know if you've got a tattoo, but it becomes really, really itchy and you can't scratch it because it's going to ruin it. So it's just like the worst feeling. I would just like tap it like that to sort of calm it down. But yeah, it's sort of, if you don't know how it is, it sort of dries up like like the first layer of ink dries up like henna tattoo do it will eventually fall off like the little um first bit of the ink will fall off eventually and then you're left with the stain the permanent stain so those are the meanings of my tattoos i will keep you informed if i get any more and when i fix the one on my wrist up i hope you enjoy this video i just thought i'd do a quick video just for you guys to get to know me a little better please take care of yourselves stay happy amazing and positive do not forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. I will catch you guys next week. Bye.